I'm here today with Russell in the technical corner and we're going to be talking about solid carbide drilling. And Russell, this is a very saturated market, so where, where do Mick on fit within that market? Yeah, I mean, classically we do market the, the sort of higher end of the drilling range rather than just everyday stuff. But sometimes that's overlooked. look, we do the, the basic stuff as well. All solid carbide um, and the higher end stuff tends to be with a through coolant as well. Okay, what sort of materials are we looking to drill? All materials in the range. Again, the, the specialist stuff tends to be the uh, in canals, titanium, cobalt chrome, high heat resistant alloys. Um, but everything from brass and aluminium, there's, a, there's something in the family to suit. Yeah, and if you look at the video behind, it tends to be the drills and the end mills, they tend to be running faster than the competition. How, yes. How's that achieved? Yeah, new geometries, new, uh, new coatings, obviously with the emphasis on, on through coolant capability. So through coolant, typically from 0.75 diameter wow. up to eight mil standard. So when we get that small, with, with things like coolant control becomes imperative. Yes, uh, to, to run at the rates they need to. Some of the newer families have the, the coolant coming down the flutes rather than at the, at the tip, like the original uh, cool family. But now we've got the XL family, which still has the, the coolant at the tip. Mm -hmm. and that's designed for one hit machining so that's 40 times diameter one one shot wow and it's quite imp it's quite impressive but you know what makes it different obviously we have a lot of people in here and everyone sells drills yep. so you know, if we drill right down excuse <laughs> the pun sorry yeah. if we drill down to the detail what do you think it is that makes this better than the c competitors it's it's the 40 and 50 times diameter capability again with a through coolant Special process um, carbide blanks, um, latest latest coatings, and also after coating treatments as mm -hmm. well. So that it's it's quite a, a unique a unique uh, drill. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm not going to ask you for client names, but what, how, how do your clients look? What you know, is it a sliding head user? Obviously, not that drill probably, but we, know, who who is buying these? We do use a lot on sliding heads. Obviously, it doesn't get to the full potential because you haven't got the revs. Mm -hmm. So on a typical machine with 8,000 revs, you know, whereas these like to be up at around sort of maybe 20,000 mm -hmm. on, on some of the, the higher end milling machines. Um, but yeah, sliding heads, fixed heads, milling machines, um, just about anything that needs a drill really. And Floyd Automatic, you, you know, you're heavily involved in projects, aren't you? I'm presuming this isn't the type of drill you pick up the phone and say, can I tr have one of those? You know, there's a bit, there's a bit of education. Yeah, we, we like to, it's application based, you know, we're happy, we, we, you know, we, we base ourselves, if, if they need, need this type of drill, we like to come along and, and, you know, hold their hands and make sure it's right. So when we're talking about the crazy drill, is it people at the top of the performance? Have you got anything for, you know, people, uh, other engineers? Yeah, I mean, the full range is carbide. Um, we start at 0.1 diameter as standard, um, uncoated, and from 0.3 with the latest coatings. Um, so any machine that requires a good quality drill but doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, the expensive end of it. Sure. So if you like on the sliding head, like you say, you might not have the RPM. It's it might be pointless actually buying an expensive drill. You mm. could come down the range slightly. Yes, yes. I mean, the later coolant channels you can run at lower uh, pressures. So older machines that might not have the sort of old 140 mm. bar you, you needed back in the day, you can probably drop to a third of that and still get the same results. Yeah, well, sounds good. So if you're interested in the crazy drill from Micron, speak with the guys at Floyd Automatic.